in the context of infection prevention antimicrobial resistance or amr within a wide range of infectious agent is a growing public health threat a broad concern of countries and multiple sectors it threatens the effective prevention and treatment of an ever increasing range of infections caused by bacteria parasites viruses and fungi before going further we have to understand what is antimicrobial resistance antimicrobial resistance or amr occurs when microbes or pathogens that causes infections mutate in such a way that resist the effects of medicine used to treat them causing treatment failure so in this video we will discuss about the antimicrobial resistance and latest research of icmr on antimicrobial resistance and its prevention so stay tuned with us to know more and subscribe the channel health for all to get the latest health related authentic information In India considering the traits of an surveillance tool and constraints with existing tools Indian Council of Medical Research or ICMR initiated antimicrobial resistance surveillance and research network that is AMRSN in 2013 the ICMR's network focuses on following six pathogenic groups number 1 enterobacteria causing sepsis number 2 gram negative non fermenters number 3 enteric fever pathogens number 4 diarrheogenic bacterial organisms number 5 gram positives that is staphylococci and enterococci including mrsa that is methylene resistant staphylococcus aureus and number 6 fungal pathogens and yeasts like candida etc there are 16 regional centers or rc or labs in the network where data from 16 tertiary care hospitals across the country are collected and analyzed now as per the latest report of Indian Council of Medical Research surveillance conducted between January to December 2020 from 30 different tertiary care hospitals across the country mutations have been observed in microbes be that in bacteria virus or fungi causing medicines useless when the patients need them most from the 65000 culture reports in 2020 it has been found five of the organisms posed a big worry those are Escherichia coli or E coli was found in almost a fourth of all samples that is 25.1% followed by the Klebsiella pneumoniae 18% Pseudomonas 12% Acinobacter 10% and Staphylococcus aureus 9.6%. This data suggest a big worry because due to COVID-19 the use of antibiotics increased and scientists feared that resistance will definitely increase in the near future. As per the above data, a senior ICU in charge says more than 50% of ICU patients of pneumonia caused by the bacteria Klebsiella pneumoniae fall without respond to powerful antibiotics called carbapenem where carbapenem resistance is evident in almost 50% of the patients the last resort antibiotic colistin which works in most of the cases have also showed resistance in some isolated cases which is a big thing to worry now prevention the importance of increasing antimicrobial resistance is that if pathogens are being mutated in such a way we don't have any further medicines in future causing extreme treatment failure that's why prevention is necessary according to the center for disease control and prevention that is cdc and icmr there are four key principles may be followed number 1 prevention of infections and preventing the spread of resistance number 2 rational use of antibiotics number 3 tracking and surveillance of antibiotic resistance and antibiotic use and number 4 developing new drugs as in india we don't have that kind of provision of developing new drugs prevention of infection rational use of antibiotics and tracking and surveillance of antibiotic usage should be the topmost priority to prevent amr or antimicrobial resistance for future that's all for today subscribe the channel like the video and share this information with your friends and family take care